Welcome to lesson 25, where I'm going to cover a another few more <laughs> array utilities that aren't available in standard JavaScript, but we supply them in service now. So let me get out of the way and show you what I'm talking about. First one is this unique. Let me walk through this example. Now, notice I didn't list these out linearly. You can list them out vertically. As long as they're surrounded by the square brackets, that's fine. And I've also declared a new variable, au. And it says, new array util. I'm going to take advantage of a script include from ServiceNow that has some utilities in it called array util. And I'm going to then define my names, boom, 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 boom. And notice that Eric is in here twice. One of the things that's available in array util is a way to determine uniqueness. And when I say, hey, array util, take the names list and save it, check for uniqueness and return the result, which is a, an array, into a new names array and print those out. And you'll notice, lo and behold, I don't have two Eric's. It says, ah, we already saw him, good enough, gone. So I don't know if I got the first one or the last one, doesn't matter to me. He could be in there a hundred times. And this is a nice way to deduplicate array elements. I've done this a number of times when I've seen data and I said, you know what? I don't care if it's in there three times. I just want to know, is it in there at all? So it makes it easy for that. Where can you find more information on this script include? Well, up here, I type in script includes and under system definition script includes, don't get mixed up with the other ones, system definition script includes, I will find one called array util. And there it is, I open it up, and there is the script for me to look at. I have contains, it says, does this array contain this particular element? Very handy if you've got an array and you say, hey, is Eric in there? Yes, it'll return a true or a false, that's it. And there's index of, where is Eric? Now there is an index of or a position on strings, but it's often handy to know, does the names contain Eric? And where do you want to start counting? Most of the time you're going to start counting at zero. But if it's not available, or you didn't supply it, it will put a zero in there. This is another good practice for scripts. If you're using a function, if you're creating a function, you notice these functions look a little different. I'm going to get to that in, in a future lesson. But keep in mind, these are called uh, uh, as needed. We already saw how array util uses contain, or excuse me, unique to determine uniqueness. I've got index of, I've got ensure array, I've got concat, and I could put two, two arrays together. I could convert array to something in here. I don't know, you can, you can find it all out. Diff, you find out what the difference between two arrays is. One's got apples, oranges, and peaches. One's got apples, bananas, and tangerines. Hey, they both have apples in common. I've got intersect where they, with, I, I may have just confused intersect with um, diff. <laughs> okay. Oh, the diff would be the, uh, the elements that are not intersecting. So these two are mutually exclusive. I've got union or we to merge them together. Uh, and of course, unique. So lots of great functionality that we've added on to help you manage your arrays more effectively. If JavaScript doesn't have what you need between shift and pop and splice and push, that kind of thing, look to array util before you start writing your own. I've often used these. They're very, very handy. So that's a short lesson 25 for you. I do have a lab coming up. So if you want a challenge, watch the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.